What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install the Forge for the brand new release of Minecraft 1.19. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Minecraft Forge website. Simply head across there. In the top left hand side, look for 1.19, expand it and click 1.19. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, it may be further down this list. On this page over here, simply look for the installer and click this button. Then wait 5 seconds and in the top right up here, you'll find a download button in just a moment. There we go. Clicking skip, the download then begins. We'll simply click on this to open it up when it's done. This is an executable .jar file. If this doesn't happen, where well, you see the Forge installer here, in the description down below, you'll find a link to a guide that shows you how to fix it, especially if it's opening in, say, WinRAR. When you see this on your screen, simply make sure to choose Install Client and then click OK. You won't need to change anything else unless you specifically installed Minecraft to a different folder. Then wait for this to install and extract and shortly after we should be able to open up the normal Minecraft launcher. There we go. I'll click OK. It'll vanish and I can open up the normal Minecraft launcher. Inside of the Minecraft launcher, select Minecraft Java Edition and you should immediately see Forge in the bottom left over here, 1.19. If not, you can click this to expand it, look for and then select Forge 1.19. Now we're able to click play and play Forge 1.19, though first you may want to change the amount of RAM you allocate to your game. Head across to installations at the very top, then simply search for Forge, look for Forge 1.19 and click the three dots next to it, then click edit. Inside of here, we'll scroll down, click more options, scroll down further, and we'll look for XMX2G. This means that we're giving our game a maximum of two gigabytes of RAM. If you know what to fill this in with already, don't worry, do that now, click save and play the game. Otherwise, hit Control shift escape to open up the Windows Task Manager. Mine may look a bit different as I'm using Windows 11 Insider. On the left hand side, Simply head across to the Performance tab and then Memory. You'll see how much RAM you have available on your computer and how much is currently in use. Essentially, you want to give Minecraft as much RAM as possible without going way above what your computer actually has in it. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM and you're using around 6 for normal use, you can give the game just under half of what you have left so that you're leaving yourself some headroom for things to start up on your computer, web browsing, etc, etc. If you have 16 gigs, you're using 6, give the game 8 so you have an extra 2 available for Windows. It's as simple as that. Give it as much as possible, but still leave yourself some headroom on Windows. For me, I have a ton of RAM so I can put in pretty much anything I want to. I'll leave this as 8, click save, and I can either hover over it and click play here, or I can head across to play at the very top, select Forge 1.19, and choose play here. There we go. If you haven't already played Minecraft 1.19, there'll be a small download and then your game should launch up. There we go. As you can see, Minecraft Forge has launched up and it says warning Forge beta. That's simply because this is very close to the release of 1.19. When you're in here, click the mods button and we can simply install mods or see what we already have installed. Click open mods folder in the bottom left to open your app data roaming dot Minecraft folder and then the mods folder inside of that. Inside over here, we have all of the .jars that should be loaded for Forge 1.19. Of course, the ones that I have here currently aren't compatible, and what I should do is right-click and cut these to put them into a different folder. For me, I'll simply rename the folder Mods 1.18 and make a new Mods folder when Minecraft is closed. Anyways, it's as simple as that. Simply download mod.jars, place them in that Mods folder, and the next time you fire up your Minecraft Forge 1.19 game, they should be loaded and you should immediately be able to play with them in game. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!